Hello everyone, Deborah here in Deb's crafting room with a reveal. This is the project that I've been working on. The Pooh Baby Girl album. Grandma works with me at work. She asked me to make a book for her daughter. And here it is. So if I had something right here, I could measure it, and I don't. <laughs> My ruler is still upstairs. Hang on. Not prepared. Not, not prepared ever. Yeah, okay. I needed a ruler to save my life. All right, wow, next best thing. Piece of paper. So, anybody wants to know, it's about the size of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Almost, there you go, good. Alrighty. So here we are, front cover. Bunch of lace all around the edge. We bought off of eBay a Winnie the Pooh book. Put some of the story inside. Um, got some uh, flowers from uh, Prima. Stuck those on the front. It says it's a girl, got a little flower. On the side we put a tassel, which is removable. So we have some vintage pieces of um, lace. We have some that are not so. We have some pieces of fabric that we cut. We have some uh, pieces, of eye, pieces of eyelash trim. And on all the things that hang, we uh, tied on a bunch of uh, a bunch of beads and whatever we had in the stash, you know. Got a little baby bottle. A couple of those are in there too. And oop, there he is. I can't figure out how to get rid of the autofocus, so I'm just gonna have to go with it. And I'm standing on the other side of the counter bureau, so I'm upside down. So, still doing <laughs> doing a good job of it. I'm trying to anyway, so. There's my tassel. And we are using a couple boxes to prop up the book because uh, the overhead light is a lot of glare. On the side of the book, we have some rosettes. A little eyelet with a ring. And the back is the back cover of the book. And we have a ribbon closure. This is the invitation. We uh, did it like a junk journal. We did the stitching uh, on the side so that we could hang a little a little tassel with an angel. A couple pictures of Pooh. And we have a little pink, blue, and yellow ribbon. Lace, clo lace closure. And this is the inside, the card, and the invitation. We had put some bling on some pockets, some uh, material we stitched before we glued on, so there's a little bit of stitching uh, in the book. A little vintage lace here. Baby's uh, information will go there. Each uh, one of these pages, there's four. It flips this way, it flips this way, and then we also have a pullout, which has got paper on both sides. So Here we put uh, the first part of the poo story. The old poo. Not the new poo, the old poo. 
So we have some little pictures glued here and there. We have uh, some uh, months of the year with a little vintage lace behind it. We only glued two sides so that some um, tags can be put in there, do a little writing on the back. Um, it's wide enough so that uh, a photo, what's a, what is it, four and a half by six? Can't remember the size of the photos. So we have a little, a little story to read, a little poo story to read. Some of these, some of these pages actually have color. I thought the whole book was color, but when you buy it from eBay, they don't tell you an awful lot. So I was a little upset when I got the book that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So we uh, stitched it uh, with some material and then we glued it on. And we have a little poo picture and piglet glued on. The um, edge that uh, we cut with, um, I think it's a Martha Stewart punch. We put some um, Mod Podge on both sides to give it a little bit more strength because they'll be, you know, grabbing and pulling. And while this paper is made of two smaller pieces of paper, they'll separate over time. So we put some Mod Podge on there to try to strengthen it up. So we have the first month here, we have the second month, we have the third month, and when this one flips out, the fourth month will be on that side there. So same thing, you know, with each. Some things can be tucked in, written on. Um, some are big enough that a picture can go on the back. Or they can just be taken out, you know, and put a, um, put a picture there. This is a pocket made with a Spellbinders die. That's one of my favorites. So we can put uh, things here, there, and everywhere. And also space here for a picture. Another pocket with some vintage lace, some more things to write on. And picture and that's pretty much how all the pages go in the book. Oh, sorry, Pooh, you're upside down. Oh no, how did I get how did I get you upside down like that? All right, we're gonna have to remove him, turn him around, and stick him back on. I didn't know that you were on that side, Pooh. My boo boo to fix before. There's always a boo-boo. So we have uh, some cards that have um, some writing on it, and then you can write on the back or put a picture on that coincides with the first, the first of this and that. Place to write the date and time. Another one of my dies that I got. This one was from I think the Wish app. And month six, a couple more poo pages with pockets on each side. And this one also is glued just on the sides so that you can tuck something in there. And the very back. A couple more pictures of Pooh and Piglet. And another story to be read. And in the back pocket we have a bunch of things. We have 
bunch of papers with the edges cut. And these can be photo mats. We did the edges, so you can place a photo on it and then place it here and there throughout the book. These smaller ones can be written on also, or smaller pictures so that you can take two pictures and put them side by side on the page. And last but not least, the only one that I had left in this package was for putting a memory. I think I've used them for a piece of hair on previous books, and this is the last one, so that one is going in the book also. And there it is. Still room for it to become a chunky monkey. Mm-hmm. So that is the book, and I hope my mom and mommy and baby years from now, everybody likes it. I hope everybody likes it. That's the thing about doing an order for someone. Are they gonna like it? Are they gonna like it? I have been pretty much just making things and putting them in the shop and somebody comes along and they like it and then they purchase it so hopefully she says she likes it and then I'll go on to my next one so for now that's it thanks for uh, hanging out throughout the whole video leave me a comment below what do you think do you like it now uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet um, please do I'm getting so close to 900 and YouTube will like me a lot more when I get to be a thousand. I'll actually be a somebody. So, <laughs> please um, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video because I have a lot of things to show that I've bought from a lot of people. So, bye for now.